Second Kings 22. Mm -hmm. If you got it, say, I got it. I got it. When he was only eight years old, when he began to reign. Yes, sir. How old? Eight. 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 And he reigned 31 years in Jerusalem. Does that mean he was through at what age? Do the math on that. Be sure you can do that, Boom Tabernacle Mathematicians. <laughs> if you start at eight and you add 31, that makes a grand total of how much? He started at 8, but his work was over at 39. Yes, sir. Yeah. And don't think that um, your appointment with God, never think that your appointment with God has to begin sometime in the future. Eight years old, what did he know at 8? My gosh. What, what experience did he have in nation leading at 8? I mean, how many universities had he attended at 8? What grade are you when you're eight years old? What grade? Third. Second. Well, Third. if you didn't get held back, it would be. Your birthday's in November. Third. You're not. You're not even in the fourth grade. Mm -hmm. At eight, he hadn't even learned his multiplication tables. At eight, he didn't know fractions and decimals. At eight, he didn't know all the parts of speech. At eight, um, he had never been on the football team. He had never made a slam dunk. He never won a tennis game at eight. What did he know at eight? All right, that's he didn't even have a learner's permit for driver's license at eight. He couldn't even go hunting by himself at eight. He didn't even have a girlfriend. Well, he had never been married. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these little boys, they so fast. <laughs> Manish. <laughs> but at eight, he never even had a family. At eight, he had no bills to pay. At eight, he never had an apartment. He never had a mortgage payment to make. At eight years old, what could he do at eight? Wouldn't you think that maybe it would have been better for him to wait until he was like 28? But God arranged for him to begin at eight. Because God begins his covenant plan with you when you know you're not qualified. God doesn't wait until you get it all together. Preach to you. Just go on. God doesn't wait until you have everything figured out. He doesn't wait until you have all the answers. He doesn't wait until everything is copacetic, organized. He doesn't wait until everything's super fragilistic, can't be HBI on the ghost. God, God doesn't wait until you can spell M I S S I P P I. You know how to spell Missouri? Spell Missouri. M I He doesn't wait until you have every I dotted and every T cross. You don't let, you are not limited by your lack of expertise. Matter of fact, God prefers you to be in a place where you know you need help. Can I get somebody just to be humbly honest and powerfully true and just say, I don't know it all. That's some boldness ought to be searching through your soul. Tap somebody on the shoulder and tell them, you don't know it all. Just like me. Finish it up. Tell them, just like me. Tell them, I said you don't know it all. Just like me. Josiah, what could he know at eight? But he knew he did not know. And when God begins to transact business with you, he can only do that when you are aware you can never do what he wants you to do by yourself. Amen. 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 You, can't, you can't fix it by yourself. You can't succeed by yourself. You can't recover by yourself. You cannot remain stable by yourself. You, can, you can't make the money by yourself. You can't pass the class by yourself. You can't get the right woman by yourself. You can't get the right dude by yourself. You can't stay happy by yourself by yourself. You can't get in the right house by yourself, the right car by yourself. You don't get the right doctor by yourself, Sister Gracie. You don't get the right attorney by yourself. You don't get the right itinerary by yourself. You can't get the right contract by yourself. Get off of me, somebody. You can't have the right health by yourself. You don't have the right intelligence by yourself. You can't have the right investments by yourself. You can't have the right personality by yourself. You can't do it with your past by yourself. And you're not ready for your future by yourself. You're only eight years old. But he was the king. He was the king. 
He wasn't a horseman, but he was the king. He was no warrior, but he was the king. He did not know how to command troops, but he was the king. He was not an expert in business, but he was the king. He had no experience in international affairs, but he, can y'all hear me? You know what that means? No matter what you think you are not, if God says you are, you are. Please shall say that again. Quit thinking about what you are not and what you do not have. If God says, if God says you are victorious, you are victorious. Quit saying you're weak. Quit saying you're poor. In fact, quit saying my tumor. My diabetes. My heart trouble. My kidney malfunction. Quit saying my depression. Quit saying my craziness. Quit saying my sickening behavior. If God says you're well, you ought to say, I am here. Care what it looks like. If God says you're rich, let the poor say, I am rich. Let the weak say, I am strong. Lift up your hands, you feeble needy ones. Lift them up and say, I am. Say yes. yes. He says you're a child of God. You're a child of God. Yes. He says you are a conqueror. You are a conqueror. Yes. If he says you have victory, quit saying I'm a sinner. You don't need to say that. I'm a sinner. Yeah, you sin. We all have sin and come short of the glory of God. But quit saying I'm a sinner. What you need to say is I'm a believer. I'm a conqueror. Get that in your mind. I know I'm only eight. I know I've got areas that have not been developed. Yeah. I know I've got challenges that I don't know how to resolve. Yeah. But I'm not going to say that I am just another little demon. Right. I'm going to say I am a child of God. Yeah. Verse 2, he did. He reigned in Jerusalem, verse 1, and his mother's name was Jediah. That's kind of a clue of who was helping him at age. Who do you think was helping him? His mother. Who was older, he or his mother? His mother. Why don't y'all say, we know that. Yeah. How could his mother help him? You know why? She knew what it meant right. to be a king. Right. Because she was married to his father. Right. And his father okay. was a king. Yeah. She was the daughter-in-law to her father-in-law and her father-in-law was a king. Yes. So she was the daughter-in-law of a king. She was the widow of a king. Yes. So she knew more about being the king than the king did. Yes. But do you not know that God will put people in your path yes. that will help you become what God says you already are? Oh, I gotta get, I'm leaving you. I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. You'll never get there by yourself. And that's why I don't want this to be a year where you are lackadaisical about your worship. Amen. Now, we're going to be cool either way. I don't fall out with my members. Mm -hmm. if you, if you, if no matter how this goes, no matter how this goes, um, uh, we're real cool. I have no hate. Um, every one of the deacons, we have good fellowship. We have no tensions on the deacon board. That's a wonderful fellowship. Yeah. 